On the left, you see the simple room. This is a scene that comes with Isaac's scene in Isaac Environment Simple Room. Now, on the right, what you see is the script editor. Here is where you can write multiple scripts and visualize them on the left side. We're going to use Replicator and visualize it here. So in this case, we import Omni Replicator. And then we create a new layer. So we don't want to alter the original scene, but we want to do modifications in the synthetic data generation section. So that's why we create a new layer on the USB. We need a camera. So we create a camera with a certain position. We then get our rendered product uh, from this camera and we assign what the dimension of that rendered product is. This is needed for writing the data. In this example, our goal is to detect the floor. So first, we are going to do some randomizations to this floor. So first, we need to get the floor. So for that, we pass it the path uh, pattern. The place you'll find the paths is in stage. And then here is your USB. You click here, and you'll find the print path. That is the pattern that we put here. With the floor open, we modify the semantics. We want to detect the floor, so we want to assign it the class floor. Then we want to modify the color. So we utilize a color randomizer, and then we tell it to choose colors from this uniform distribution. So this is going to randomize the color. You might ask why. Well, we don't want the DNN to learn these specific textures, but rather to learn the characteristic that the ground is in the floor, that items fall into it. And for that reason, we also add a collider such that when things fall to it, um, it will remain and hold them. And then we return that node. Then we register that randomizer. So first, we have our first randomizers for the floor, but we might also want to randomize this table. We want it sometimes in the scene, other times we don't. So we get the print from the scene, again, by the pattern. Then we modify its visibility, and we set it to true or false, depending on the scene. We register that randomizer. The last randomizer might be the most interesting one to you. So we pass it a props folder. Again, that comes in the Isaac props YCB access align folder. And here we tell it the size of how many of these props we want to use. We then use the instantiate function to which you pass it a USDs uh, from this props folder. And you tell it how many you want from that USD. So say you want 50, 10, or just one. And then we tell it scene instance. This is necessary for the physics randomization. Then we don't want all of the assets in one place, so we modify their position and rotation. And lastly, we add a physics rigid body, and we give them an angular velocity to try it out. And here we register that randomizer. Then we use trigger on time. We tell it to create 10 frames. We give it an interval of two seconds so that it lasts for two seconds, and then it restarts our randomization. Uh, we pass it the randomizers that we registered, and we also randomize the positions of the camera. So we change the position and rotation. Lastly, we need to write this data. So we utilize the writer. We get the basic writer. We initialize it with an output folder. What we are storing, which in this case is RGB, semantic segmentation, and you can use bounding box or whatever else you want. And then we attach the render product, the camera that we defined at the beginning. And then we're ready to go. So we run this. You might notice that nothing is happening. That list looks a little bit strange. But that's because in the background, this is defining an omnigraph. And in order for us to actually run that graph, we go and click Replicator Run. And now it's going to take a second because things are loading. But now you see, here is the ground. The ground is now pink. And items are falling into the ground. 
And now this is going to keep happening. There are going to be more items in the scene and we're going to get different frames and the camera is going to keep moving positions depending on the random input.